What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be updating our icon to a custom icon image. You can see it's working on both Android and iOS. We also have the name of our app now on both of those devices as well. I'm going to first go over a bit of the process that I took to get to this icon logo, and then I'll show you exactly how you can upload that into both of these versions of the app. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do with anything design-wise is to start on paper. So you can see here, it's the paper is is better for this because it's quicker. That's really the only reason. So you can just kind of draw out ideas. These are all just different random sketches I had of, of potential ideas, which you, could, you can see it's very crudely drawn and nothing is really that good here. Uh, one idea is this one that I kind of did like for a while is, is kind of having coins stacked that that essentially would look like, you know, it'd be like increasing coin stack would then also have that um, that that map kind of look to it, that treasure map look to it above it. Uh, and I did actually kind of move forward with that one, and then I also moved forward with this one, which is the one that I ultimately ended up going with is a essentially a treasure chest looking icon with two with two T's in it for travel treasury, but they would be kind of part of the treasure chest. So once you get from your, your mock-up here, you can move into a digital mock-up. And as I was describing, this was this one I did do first. So once I got into this, this page, I'm using sketch in this example, but you could easily do this with Adobe Illustrator or also Adobe XD, which is a free version. But yeah, then you could play around with the colors and everything. This I did, I didn't really like this when it was, I couldn't make it work digitally is basically what it was. I didn't like the way the coins looked and I really didn't like it at all. Um, so then I moved over to the treasure chest looking one. So this had multiple different versions. I first went to flaticon.com and I just downloaded a bunch of different, um, you know, different icons of these treasure chests. So these are not my designs up here, but I use them as inspiration. and. And that's definitely something you can do. Also looking at other apps and kind of seeing what they're using. Most app icons are pretty simple. Nowadays, that's kind of what I'm, what I'm finding. My idea was to kind of have this be the whole icon, which I can show you doesn't actually look that great um, as being the whole icon. I ultimately ended up on this where, where there's a blue background in it. You can see kind of the the different iterations of this. It's really easy to change these iterations in here. In Sketch, you can option drag and it will just give you a new version of it. Then you can just go ahead and change colors of anything you want. So then I got to a point where I wanted to kind of, I had a few different iterations and and I wanted to see what they would look like on the phone. So what I did was I just took a screenshot of the phone right here and then all the icons, I'm designing them in a size of uh, 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels and that's basically what the iOS icon uh, uses like that's that's the size that you're gonna need for the iOS icon so I just use that and then basically you'll be able to generate all the other icons from that that icon size but that's a good base size to use what I did was I just got a screenshot here and then blew it up to be so that this 1024 icon is essentially the same size as as the icons on the actual device. And then I and then I put my examples on here, right here. Uh, this is actually the example from the simulator at one point, but you can see these examples here. You, you can tell what which one you like better, you know, which one looks better. Um, I do like the green. I did like the green a lot, but the colors of the app are more of the blues. So I actually ended up going with a darker version of that, which is this one. If you have this icon border here, you can place it behind the rectangle. And then in Sketch, at least you can mask and it will get you basically the subtraction version of the two of those. Uh, I also need to just place this above my image here and then it can go on top of it. But this is the one I ultimately end up ended up going with. So once you have your logo design created, and I'm just going to copy this out here, and I'm going to go ahead and remove that mask again because I want you want to export it as the full square for iOS uh, and for Android. Actually, Android is going to be a rounded one by the end of it, so this is what it will look like. Now, 
I'll show you in a second. We're going to actually export both of these because one version of it is going to be essentially used for iOS and then Android can use this version, but it will all the newer versions of Android will use this version. So you'll notice there's a little bit more spacing around the outside here and and that's easy to do. You can just scale this image. If you're in sketch, you can you can find this, scale it, and then just make it smaller, which is what is done for there. So go ahead and export these images, and I'll just put them on my desktop. I'll call the square one the main logo, and the circle one I will call the foreground logo. This one will only actually be used for Android, and really only for newer versions of Android. Once those are exported, we can go into our Flutter app here, and this is in Android Studio, and we already set up the assets folder, but if you if you are just jumping in right now, if you go to your pubspec.yaml file, you're going to want to add a new directory called assets up here. And then you're also going to need to, to define that assets folder right here. So this is just going to allow that folder, the images in that folder to be accessible by the app. So anyway, within the assets folder, I'm going to create a new directory. I'm just going to call this icons. And then I'm going to drag these two images that we just exported into that directory and click add. And you'll see we now have those two assets right there. So we're going to be using this Flutter launcher icons package. And this is going to allow us to use just these, these two images essentially. And it will do all the heavy lifting for us and generate all the different icon sizes that we need. If you've built an iOS app before, you know that there's about 20 to 30 different logo variations that you need to upload for the app. And this package is going to basically generate all those for us, which is very nice. So go into the pubspec.yaml file. The first thing we're going to do is actually include that package so we can add that to the list of our dependencies here. And then we're also going to need to configure the actual icons that we added up here in the assets to be the, to be the app icon that we want to use in our app. So we can do that pretty simply with the Flutter icons. And then we can give it, um, we can give it an image path here and I'll do this first and then I'll show you why we need to use that second foreground logo. So if we just give this the image path here and we can give it to the path to our main logo, which again is the square one, uh, then we also are going to set Android and iOS to true. And at this point, this minimum amount of configuration will work for both the icons. So let's go ahead and run that. We actually need to do two things. Firstly, we need to do our pub get to actually get this package. And then the second thing is we need to run this command in the terminal to actually have this package generate all those icon versions that I was just talking about. So if we go to the terminal, the command is flutter pub run, and then we're gonna be running the flutter launcher icons, which is this package and then the main on that. So if you hit run, and I'm actually gonna copy this command here and put it as a comment here, because we are going to need to run this anytime that we change this configuration. So I actually have a typo here. This needs to be icons, and you see how that errored because that file path that I gave it originally is not working, or is it didn't exist. And just to be clear, the main here is just the main version of the flutter launcher icons package it has nothing to do with the name of the file but once that's run you can then run your app and i'm going to run it both on my android simulator and my ios simulator so you can see both versions all right so the app has loaded for both of them we're going to want to go to the home now to actually view that icon and you can see it looks pretty good on ios i think that's exactly what we're going to want it to be like uh, again the color i didn't actually change the color in this in the app quite yet, but this background color is eventually going to be this color. So when it opens, it'll have that nice feel to it. Uh, on Android over here though, we'll see if we look at the icon, it doesn't look at all how we want. It's really just a square version. And this is a bit hard to see because it's so small, but we want the background color of this circle to, to take up that background color. And we want that icon to be a little bit bigger. So that can be achieved with that 
other image, which is this circle image here, and we can set that right here in the Flutter icons configuration here as being the adaptive icon foreground. So when you set the adaptive icon foreground, this is only gonna be used for Android. And another thing you're also gonna to have to set is the adoptive uh, is the adaptive icon background and this can just be a color so I'm going to use the color of this background here this is this is not actually used in the in the logo image itself but it is it is going to be the fallback I think on some other Android devices um, but anyway if you rerun this now because and you do have to rerun this whenever you change these these uh, this configuration because we do need to have those logos regenerated and now rerunning the iOS is going to look the same because nothing's going to change for that rerunning the Android though it should look different so I'm going to rerun that right now all right and now that the app launched back up we can go back to the home page you'll see the app icon now looks how we would expect filling up that whole circle using that adaptive icon image. So that looks good. Both of the icons look good on both of our devices. The one thing that doesn't look great though is the title here, which is the actual title of our code project, which is travel underscore budget. We want that to actually say the name of the app, which is travel treasury. So we can change this. It's actually, we're gonna to need to change it in two spots, one for each of the versions of the app. Back in Android Studio, let's first do Android will change. So if we go to the Android folder here, and then we go into the app source main, and then the Android manifest, you'll see within here, there should be the Android label. And if you scroll up, it's probably towards the top right here, the Android label. You'll see it is set to what it was displaying as. We can just change this to Travel Treasury. And then save that. The Since that one's saved, we can actually go ahead and rerun our Android version. And while that is loading up, we can change the iOS version. So the iOS version is gonna be under iOS, then Runner, and then you can find the info.plist. And within here, it's going to be actually called the CF bundle name. CF bundle name, here it is. And then travel budget is there, so we can rename that to travel treasury as well. And save that, and then if we run it again on iOS 11, that should load in a second. The Android version is up now, so we can see what that looks like. And you'll see it does say travel treasury, a little bit cut off because of the way that it's displaying there. If you click on app info, you can see the info of the app and it does have the name as we would expect and that icon is looking good. All right, iOS just came up. So if we go to the home on there, you'll see now it does say travel treasury. So that's gonna be it for this video. We now have our app icon set up and our app named appropriately on both of our devices. If you've enjoyed this video and want to keep following along, go ahead and subscribe down below. All right, ciao for now.